To begin the NR3 repair process, first you will want to start by turning off the water supply at an upstream shutoff or at the meter connection. You will want to depressurize the valve by opening a downstream hose bib or a faucet. If you don't have a pressure gauge downstream of the regulator, measure the distance from the top of the adjustment bolt to the bell housing. This will allow you to readjust the valve to the proper outlet pressure after your repair. Now you will want to loosen the lock nut on the adjustment bolt. You will then back out the adjustment bolt from the bell housing until all spring tension is removed. You want to remove the bell housing by rotating counterclockwise. Now you will remove the spring disc, the spring, and the friction ring. If the valve is installed vertically, the parts may fall out of the bell when it is removed. To remove the cartridge, you will grip the retaining bolt with a pair of pliers and pull outwards from the body. Now you will flush out the valve to remove any trapped debris by opening your upstream shutoff valve. Clean any remaining debris from the body and wipe clean the cartridge and the diaphragm areas. You will want to inspect the body for any damage before installing your repair kit. Now, using your grease in the repair kit, you will lubricate the O-rings on the replacement cartridge. You want to push the cartridge into the bore in the body, making sure the O-rings seal tight against both the body and the cartridge. If your valve is installed flowing horizontally, you will set the friction ring, the spring, and the spring disc on the diaphragm. If the valve is installed flowing vertically, you will want to center the spring disc on the adjustment bolt in the bell. Place spring on the spring disc and put friction ring into the bell opening. Make sure your friction ring is installed with raised edge facing away from the cartridge. You want to make sure your spring is centered on the diaphragm bolt as you start to thread bell onto the valve body. You will now tighten your bell onto the body. You want to turn the adjustment bolt clockwise until the bolt is at its original height. Slowly turn on your water supply. You will close the downstream hose bib or faucet after water flow becomes clear and constant. To verify proper operation of the valve, Wilkins recommends setting the outlet pressure with a pressure gauge. If it is necessary, you can adjust your outlet pressure to 50 PSI. The outlet pressure is raised by turning adjustment bolt clockwise into the bell housing. And to lower your outlet pressure, you will turn the bolt counterclockwise and then open a faucet to relieve pressure and check the actual setting. You will then tighten the lock nut when the desired pressure is set. Now you will observe your gauge for a few minutes to make sure pressure is constant, showing cartridge and o-rings are seated properly and that there are no internal leaks in the valve.